Okay, today I'm going to do another um, pour in these colours that I have left over. It's on a, a, a bit of a large canvas on a 76 by 50 centimetres, so I'm not sure if the whole um, canvas is in the frame, but you will definitely get the idea of what I'm trying to achieve. Uh, I showed you this one before, I just love these colours. So when I finished doing the video, those clusters were, you know, clusters with quite a lot of negative space in, and now they've um, just morphed and joined and made a whole little life of its own. And so that's what you can achieve. If you just do your paints a little bit thinner than normal, I find the thicker that I mix my paints, the smaller cells I get. When I do it that bit thinner, the, the cells spread and create that kind of look. So it's just a, ooh, it's the one I did yesterday and decided that I'd try it on this bigger one. This is a nice gallery wrapped canvas. So I've gone to the effort of underneath, I tape so I don't get messy. Um, got my push pins and then I've put those puppy pee pads so my canvas doesn't sag. Because this is a larger canvas, I'm going to um, do my middle swipe out so I'm not trying to drag the paint so far down the canvas. So these are the colours that I've got today. I'll explain them as I go along. Pre-mix them two days ago. So um, yeah, we'll see what we come up with. I think that I will swipe with the navy today again as I did that one. Uh, always happens when I try to do a video. Dogs have been quiet all day. Well, you just have to bear with me because um, that's life, I suppose. <laughs> So, okay, I'm in sunny Queensland, Australia, and we were having uh, about three weeks of non-stop rain, but actually come today and it's, oh, it's just sensational today. I'll try and maybe at the beginning of this video, I can post you what kind of sunshine we're having and the glorious outlook here. And there was kangaroos in my paddock this morning which they usually come up close to the house if I, if they know that I've put any bread out for the birds. So I didn't think the kangaroos would like bread because they eat grasses and seeds, I believe. Okay, sorry about that. That was my copper and I had added um, pearl white to it just to dull it down so it's no, not such a strong. Now this is my, and they, this is global paint. This is my metallic gold, and again, I added some uh, pearl white just to dull it down again. So, doing it in this snaky fashion because this is what I've found. It doesn't matter whether you do the same kind of technique each time, you get different results because um, it takes on a whole little life of its own. My two dogs decided that going to have a good old play in here. Go on outside, guys. Go on, outside to play. Too noisy. So, I have an Australian Shepherd, and her name is Bindi, after Bindi Irwin, Steve Irwin, fame. Steve Irwin's um, Australia Zoo is about 30 minutes drive from here. So, if anybody's overseas or even in Australia that hasn't been to Queensland and gets a chance to visit um, Steve Irwin, the Irwin Zoo, you must do so because it's well worth it. It's actually a nice zoo where you feel that the animals are enjoying life, even though it would be better if they were out in the wild, but they've got really nice um, open pastures for cage, well not, and not cage, it should have said. Okay, I've missed the colours. So, okay, one was the, yep, the copper, the metallic gold, and this was a turquoise, and I added a bit of um, warm blue 
to sort of bluey the turquoise up, so to speak. Okay, this was one, this lovely colour. I'm going to do a video, I think, of my colours that I've been, that I, I custom make my own colours and some I was making the other day. So this one is pearl white and it was probably about two centimetres of pearl white and I added a blob of warm blue. And it's made this gorgeous, like sapphire, deep sapphire colour. It's really nice and it's really shimmery. My dogs are barking like that. It usually means that there is a kangaroo in the paddock. And if they could actually get to it, they would chase the kangaroo, which is not a good thing, obviously, because you don't want the kangaroo to get hurt. But usually kangaroos really do stand up for themselves if they're large ones um, and they can actually grab your dog around the neck and they lift, lift kick out and tear their guts. <laughs> so those nice looking kangaroos you see on telly can be pretty fierce, but it's only uh, to save their own lives, I suppose. Huh. And my dogs are not behaving, can't believe it. I haven't heard this all day. I might have to stop the video and go and bring them in. Because there's obviously something that they've got their eye on. Okay, this is loading up with quite a lot of paint, isn't it? So I'm gonna do some tilting before I add any more. That was another, that was just turquoise. You guys are naughty. Okay, just trying to tilt it slowly, but just to make sure you get everything covered. And again, don't stress if you can't cover the corners because you can always cover those with the paint that you run off. I've got paint dropped on my toe and I haven't got my paint shoes on. I always do that. Oh my goodness, I think nearly all of my clothes are ruined because I think oh, I won't paint, no I won't paint, I'll, I won't get changed and then you can bet that I do. Okay, this one's like the blue azure. Lovely colours in it, really lovely colours but again this is a big canvas so I've got to kind of concentrate what I'm doing myself, I don't want to ruin the canvas and all this paint. So kind of doing a video on a larger it's probably not the best because you're trying to concentrate on explaining but you're also trying to concentrate on okay I've got that all over the floor but nothing new that's why it's good um, having your own separate paint studio so if you get paint anywhere and everywhere if it's a place that's specially meant for you or you've got the floor covered which I haven't, it's just a kind of a lino in my husband made the garage space, my art studio. It's so much better than trying to do it on the dining room table. Oh, in fact, I'd hate to go back to that again because at least I can come out here and feel that I've got my own area now which are very lucky. Just finger popping it all around to just make sure that there's paint on the edges. So like I said, don't stress out about it. Even you very, you can always just use some of the paint, put it on there. I'm gonna put a little bit more paint on that. Just gonna wash my hands. I'm trying to get it off my shoes. <laughs> okay, I'll just double check that the camera's still running because I've been having a lot of issues with... Oh, okay. Hopefully it is. Yep. A little bit out of the frame, isn't it? But as I said, it's a big canvas, so 
I'm going to um, put some white in here now. This is white with a touch of pearl in it. It's just to try and get a bit of sheen and, and it kind of makes the, I don't know, it sort of, yeah, it gives a bit of a, a nicer look in it. So that's white. This is mostly pearl and I added a bit of gold in there just to send it kind of a creamy, creamy gold. Probably put in way too much paint, but I, have to tilt off again. I'm in a right mess here actually, I'm treading it everywhere. That's not good. Okay, I'm gonna have to let's put cloth. <laughs> it's trying to do a big canvas because I asked, was asked, oh, when you do a big canvas, video it, but you've really got to take your time. So you can't sort of, well, you can do both, but when it's a nice canvas that you don't want to ruin, it's worth taking your time and not doing an instructional video while you're trying to achieve a um, really good finish on your work. You need to fully concentrate and enjoy the process. Okay, so that was the white and gold. I have got pearl white, but I'm not going to add any more to that. I'm not going to tilt that off. I'm going to well, just maybe tilt it up to cover that, Ew. not off, but just to make it um, blend in with the other colours a little bit. But the other colours will come back up through, especially yeah, when it's swiped and torched. I said the pouring medium that I usually use to mix with the Australian brand paints, the Elmer's Glue All, doesn't work with all brands of paint. You'll probably get better results doing a pouring medium with Floetrol or the commercial brands. It's just that I don't use any of the pre-made pouring mediums by the companies because they're way, I go through so much, they're way too expensive for the amount and volume of work that I do. Okay. I'll leave that like that. Just hoping that all will be good in paradise. <laughs> um, I'm going, this is the navy that I'm going to swipe with. I'm not gonna swipe from the top down. I'm going to swipe from the center out, just so the paint doesn't have to go too far. I don't want to put too much in at all because as you'll see it really does stretch. Uh, okay my swipe tool is my as I say always it's plastic file divider it's so much better than paper towel or anything it's a flimsy plastic file divider best swipe tool out so just drop about the verse the top centimeter into your swipe colour and just draw it down nice and slowly. No hurry, as I say, every time, relax, enjoy the process. Okay, I wipe off that plastic file divider just on one of the puppy pee pads throughout every swipe so you don't muddy your paints. This is just, every time I do just a straight flip cup pause on a canvas I always still come back to this because you're almost guaranteed that it won't muddy your paints like a flip cup or you're loading with different color paints and you've always got that opportunity for your paints to muddy up it's like somebody say oh how do you get the yellow and red to play nicely or not turn brown and and you can do it quite easily if you do if you do it this way um, swipe technique it won't muddy well it's far less likely so you get a more professional finish I'm gonna go around the other side as you can see <laughs> got some nice little um, cells appearing all on their own 
again. So there's not too much blue.